Welcome back to I Can Science That. It's been over a week now since I launched this crazy idea of giving homework assignments on YouTube videos. Uh, let's see how we did. I got 53 responses to part one. Part one, I gave my answers. Um, and it was not too surprising that pretty much everybody had the same answers. There are two repeats, so that means there are actually only 51 unique responses to part one. Let's move on to the more interesting questions, which start at part three. Form number three is about what were your predictions going to be if the hypothesis number one is true, and that would be if the water levels form a plane, what do we predict to measure? We have here 46 responses, two repeats, so that means there's actually 44 unique responses here. Let's take a look at what did we get. Here are our predictions. 42 of those 44 said zero. Oh, there's one response that says zero, zero, and then a few math formulas that would all have ended up at zero as well. Uh, same thing down for M2 and M3. One thing that was clear from this form is everybody who participated agrees we're all getting the exact same prediction, and, and that prediction is zero. The, those risers are expected to line up side by side if water forms a plane. But what about form number seven? Let's take a look at form number seven. It asks the same question about what if those water risers create some kind of a curve um, and particularly we were looking at what if it was a spherical shape that they create what would we predict then we got 43 unique responses here and let's take a look at what those responses are 38 of those are zero four of those are zero meters hey good on those four of you to print in putting in the units um, one another one says zero meters so that's actually five of you said zero meters um, here's one that was a mistake. That's one of those repeats, so we won't put much weight on that one. And then uh, this one writes the mathematical formula, which is going to end up at the same thing. Okay, so that's that. Um, and the same, same answers are true here for all people who participated for uh, M1, M2, and M3. Everyone who participated understands and agrees that if hypothesis two were true, and for some reason these water these water levels create that spherical curve that I mentioned, then this test would show M1 equals zero, M2 equals zero, and M3 equals zero. What's interesting about that is it's the same exact predictions that we got if, uh, in fact, that water level created a plane. So what's the what's the big takeaway here? Every single person who filled out the forms understands completely and agrees that no matter which hypothesis is true, the ending measurement of M1, M2, M3 is going to come out the same, zero. Zero, zero, zero for all three of those, no matter which hypothesis is true. Uh, let's take a look at if there's anything here in the conclusions that we ought to take away from this, the conclusion statements that were offered to us. Um, just like with hypothesis number one, hypothesis two predicts M1 equals M2 equals M3 equals zero. No matter which hypothesis is true, we get the exact same result. Uh, and here somebody just says equals zero. All water levels will be the same. Uh, all should be zero. Here's another one that says, same as hypothesis number one, no difference in levels, AKA realizing Euclid does not distinguish between either hypothesis as it is. Zero difference, all zero. Um, no matter how we fill the water levels, both hypotheses, M1 equals M2 equals M3. Cons uh, you know, is there anything in here that's different? Here's one, one that says, however, taking a sighting from M1 directly to M2 would show a difference in height. Uh, possibly, we could talk about that, but that's not part of this test. It was never done. When sighted, all points would not follow a collinear plane. Again, talking about, talking about sighting, we didn't do that with this test. They would all be equal to each other. Um, you cannot 
see them all in the same line looking for, well you know we didn't try that so we don't know whether that's true or not uh, they should all be the same value okay so great uh, that's where we stand with this so the big question that's on many people's minds many people have asked of course has Bev participated did Bev answer these questions and uh, I'm afraid to say that no, Bev has declined uh, to answer any of these questions. Now, it has been suggested that maybe I was um, unfair in characterizing Bev's statements as if he was offering to participate in some way. So let's reread what it was Bev had to say and try to be more fair about it. If you want to work through the proofs we have from first principles and show us how your proofs work from first principles, I'd be glad to join you in working through them together. I'm all for learning. I'm not aware of fundamental differences we have. We both have a firm grounding in reality, don't we? So that's Bev's exact words, which, you know, I took to mean that he was offering to work together and that I would have the opportunity to show us how my proofs work, not Bev's proofs. We've seen Bev's proofs, we've worked through those, but he does start off with, if you want to work through the proofs we have from first principles, and honestly, I'm not interested in reworking through those. I didn't do that so maybe because I didn't first work again through Bev's proofs again that um, that now that means now he's not willing to work together so to be fair um, I guess that's the literal interpretation of what he wrote no he's not willing to work together with me under my terms um, only under some other terms of his. I did clarify that I would not be going through his proofs, but uh, I would be going through the predictions. Um, and I overstated the, the complexity of the problem. And then I said, if you're open to either of these approaches, let me know which is your preference. And he said, I'm up for you to explain with whatever means you have at your disposal. So, um, he is open to having me explain it. But once again, notice he does not specifically agree to answer any of my questions. It would not be fair to necessarily characterize anything Bev said as specifically agreeing to answer my questions directly. But he was true to his word in that he did watch the explanation that I offered. He did watch the videos, he watched that live and commented on them. And during that comment, he actually provided uh, enough to go off of to, to glean what his answers would be, I think. Let's hear it directly from Bev. This is a live stream that Bev did, it's on YouTube. I'll throw a link down in the description. And here at two hours and 44 minutes, we'll hear Bev, summarize my questions. I can see the way he's tried to set it up, right? He, he's setting it up, whereas within his hypothesis, um, there's no difference ever. There's no difference between either of the models, i.e. there's no difference between a straight line and a circle. Now, everybody knows that in reality, that's obviously not true. But... Within the framework that he set up, there is no difference between the tests. Within the measurements, there's no difference. So you could go out there with all of the Euclidean proofs of a straight line and on a plane and all of that, but you will get the same results as what he thinks he will get within your hypothesis too. So therefore... There's no difference between a straight line and a plane and a circle. Okay, so we heard it from Bev. He understands my point uh, and acknowledges my point that uh, according to the way that I have presented it, which he does not 
necessarily agree with, but he does understand that the way that I've presented it, I have shown that there is no difference either way. In his words, whether the water levels create a line or they create a circle, that there would be no difference in those measurements. So he does understand that. That much is clear. Okay, let's let's hear that again. I can see the way he's tried to set it up, right? He, he's setting it up, whereas within his hypothesis, um, there dif there's no difference ever. There's no difference between either of the models, i.e. there's no difference between a straight line and a circle. Now, everybody knows that in reality, that's obviously not true. But within the framework that he's set up, there is no difference between the tests. Okay, he just says, within the framework that I've set up, there is no difference between the tests. Um, and I would say, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. We agree completely. Within this framework, I have shown that there's no difference between the tests. Um, then he goes on to say that that means there's no difference between a line and a circle. That's clearly not what we have shown. And at no point in my videos did I ever make any such statements. Uh, in fact, I didn't make any judgments at all about this during this series. Those judgments came only during this summary when we found those answers and the answers led us to that conclusion, which was that this test cannot determine the difference between those two cases. So that's it for the summary. Thank you all for participating, those of you who did. Um, did we get any participants from the next level, or now they call it the on the level server? No, I don't recognize any names at all from those people. Bev obviously did not fill out the forms, but we did hear his response in the video, which made it clear that he understands the ramifications of what I've presented. He does understand that the way I've shown it, at least, I have clearly indicated that there is no way that his test could discern whether those water levels were a plane or whether those water levels could have somehow been a curve. And as a last shout out here, I want to give an honorable mention to the single most creative response that I got was from the one flat earther who did respond to these surveys, and that is Mallory. Uh, she's in here. There is Mallory has given us a response. Let's take a look at what Mallory has to say about these measurements. Uh, the first question was, what are the coordinates of point A? Now, most people took the answer that it, that would be 0, 5. But Mallory took an answer saying, I'm trying to embrace it. Next up, uh, point number B. Most people seem to think that it was 200, 5. But Mallory's answer is, with my arms. And point number C. Most of us thought 300 comma five, but that's because we're thinking inside the box. Mallory's got right here, right now. And uh, for point D, finally, 400 comma five would be the the you know regular math answer, but Mallory's got right now, right here. So thank you very much for obviously the most creative response there, um, and for contributing to this effort. Thank you, Mallory, and looking forward to, to seeing you more in the streams. That's it, folks. That's the summary. Bev did not choose to answer, neither did any of the participants from the On The Level server. None of them participated here with us tonight, um, but we did hear straight from Bev's voice where he did understand that this test indicated that there would be no difference between those hypotheses. So he understands that that's the case. All right, so that's it. That's the wrap up. We've seen now um, that this crazy approach that I tried was not completely successful at engaging with people and getting people to participate, but we did get at least that one statement from Bev indicating that he does at least understand the point that I'm trying to make. And you know, that's a great step forward. Until next time, We'll see you out there.
You know, I was thinking, they changed the name of their Discord server from the next level server. Now it's called on the level. I've heard that phrase before somewhere. I wonder if they know there was a satirical flat earther named Leo Ferrari. He used to go, he used to say that. Um, He's a pretty funny guy, uh, very, you know, friendly, funny guy, he used to pretend to be a flat earther, uh, and he used to say, we're on the level. He created a little organization called, I think it was called the Flat Earth Society. I wonder, um, I wonder if the people on the on the level Discord server know that. Hmm. Something to think about. Good night.